Okay, so to do that, to do these questions, how are you going to do those? What's the first step you do to solve these particular problems? Yep, good chat. Yep. Do you reckon sketching out that trig graph might be a good starting point? Why might that be a good starting point? How many answers are there for the first question? Two. How do you know there's two? Because you draw the graph and you know there's between 0 and 360 degrees, or 0 and 2 pi, you know that y equals cos x will go past 0 0.1 twice. So we do that, that's going to be a good starting point. Then what are we going to do? It'll give you some rough solutions to your graph. Then we can solve it using algebra and trigonometry. And then we can solve our particular problems later on. Okay. So for the first question, um, cos x equals one, 0 0.1. So my, my graph, sorry, is in uh, radians here, but the cosine graph should go through here, 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 and here. And we'll go back down to there. For those of you that didn't know. So there's, there's my cosine graph. So first step, draw that. My second step is I draw a little line at 0 0.1. Okay, now obviously how many solutions would I have between negative pi and 5 pi over 2? I would have 1, 2, 3, 4 solutions. Is that right? Everyone happy with that? But I'm not talking about that in the dilemma. I'm just talking about 1 and 2. You're happy with there are my two solutions, eh? One right there and one right there. So how do I find those solutions? Hopefully you've you've done your hopefully you've done that part there. What does that give you? Now yeah, because I'm doing doing in degrees, it should give me an answer of 84.3 right, degrees. Everyone happy with that? So my first answer is 83, sorry, 84.3 degrees. So what's my other answer? How do we get to my other answer? So this answer here, remember we went through it the other day, went through it the other day, that answer there, so from there to there, is 84.3. So from there outwards, so from here backwards, is the same amount. So if x1 is 84.3, x2 will be 360 degrees minus the 84.3. Is that right? You happy with that? So that's going to be, is that 275.7? Yeah. right? In radians? Yeah, that's right. So there are my two solutions. You happy with those? Okay, so if I, go, if I keep going now and go through the next question... Now I'm using in, in radians. I'm only talking about 0 to 2 pi. So I quickly sketch my graph, my sine graph. Here's my sine graph. 0 0.35 is all over here. So I'm going to have, have my two solutions there, right? So x1 and x2. So how do I find what x1 is? Inverse sine of what does that give me in radians? Three 
in radians, it gives me an answer of 0.36 or 0 0.3576. Okay, if you're going in radians like that, try and just use four centimeters. So that's x1. How do I find x2? So x2 pi minus 0 0.3576, which should be 2.7840. Everyone happy with that? So can you see the process? Sketch the graph, <coughs> put the line across, solve them, solve them, and then from your graph you should be able to apply that knowledge. Is this one here a little bit trickier? Okay, so it's the same graph, so if I just quickly draw that graph. Now when I go, um, we're going across, we're going across there, aren't we? Here are x1, x2, is that right? You are happy with that? So when I do my uh, inverse sign, of that's negative zero point three. What does my calculator give me? Is that right? Negative zero point three zero four seven. So how does that relate to my graph? Because it's sort of like Oh, because this graph carries on like that, doesn't it? So that answer there of negative 0 0.3 is is where it cuts the side graph. So when you do these sort of uh, when you do these sort of problems, the calculator will give you an answer from here to there. In other words, it will give you the closest answer to zero. Sometimes it'll give you this answer as opposed to giving you that one there. But is that is it very hard? Well, how do I get my answer of x1? Because that's not x1, is it? Is that the, should that be x1? What's my answer for x1? Do I pass that answer? Yep. Give you an answer. How do I find my other answer? Okay. And if you can see that, if you can sketch them out, then how easy do those problems start becoming? Okay. Now there is a general formula that we'll get to shortly, but I thought I'd just go through one example. Um, how do I do this one? Is that any different, really? So I've got, I've got my two asymptotes here and here. I've got my graph. I'm not worried about anything that way, am I? So 0 0.3. Here are my two solutions are 0 0.3. How do I get my first solution here? Tan negative minus 0.3. That'll give you your x1 solution. How do you find your x2 solution? No. Is that? Be negative pi plus the answer. Okay. Why is it negative pi plus the answer? Because the interval I was looking for was between negative pi and pi. Does that make sense? Does that seem hard? Easy? 